One of the things I did that uh, people have quoted to show how They're very concerned with, with diet uh, for this reason. They seem to think that all appetites are, are connected, and, and so if you want to control one, you have to control another. Uh, and I conclude from that that they were in a celibate relationship that still is difficult to understand and perhaps more difficult today than it would have been then uh, because our, our values have changed in many ways, not just about sex, but about friendship between men and men. Uh, and uh, I, I conclude that they were not hypocrites and uh, they were living the life they, they said they were living. Uh, sensationalist I was. I, 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 I write I write that uh, my message would be, read the book, hold it in your hands, see what the scope of it is. It is not a book about the sex life of Mahatma Gandhi. It's a book about his struggle for social justice in India and, and the evolution of his social values, uh, which were largely formed in South Africa, and how that happened, the values he brought home, and, and what they inspired him to do. I see Gandhi as a bridge between the two countries. But in a long pol political career of half a century, uh, he was certainly on the side of free speech. And that's been said by a number now of leading uh, Indian intellectuals and indeed two, two grandsons and one great-grandson of Gandhi. Uh, uh, whatever their attitudes to the book, they think it's ridiculous to consider banning it.